guys welcome back to another nightly devotion so this is for saturday july 22nd hopefully you're having a wonderful weekend having fun with family friends kids whoever it is i hope that you're having a wonderful blessed weekend so let's jump right into this find freedom through seeking to please me above all else you can have only one master you can have only one master I'm just trying to take account of my own life at the moment. And I believe that my only master is God. I think I need to do a more in-depth search. Maybe not while I'm sitting here on camera trying to read this to you. Um, but I challenge you as well. Take an account of your life and really evaluate who is your master. Who do you serve? When you let others' expectations drive you, you scatter your energy to the winds. Your own desire to look good can also drain your energy. I am your master and I do not drive you to be what you are not. Your pretense displeases me, especially when it's in my service. Service is in air quotes. Concentrate on staying, to, staying close to me at all times. It is impossible to be inauthentic while you are focusing on my presence. All right, so the verses that go with this are Ephesians 5, 8 through 10, Matthew 23, 8, and Matthew 6, 1. So the first one says, For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. The next one. But you are not called to be... But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have only one master, and you are all brothers. And the last one, be careful not to do your acts of righteousness before men to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. <sighs> Yowza! I don't know why I've never read that verse before, but that's a dang good verse, because there's a lot of people out there that do these good acts and they don't do it out of the goodness of their heart they do it for views they do it for clout they do it for trying to make other people see them even in their own church make other people see them as these holy people and it's like we're not called to do these things for those reasons we're called to do them in acts of service to the lord for him not for us, not for other people, not for other people seeing us do good so that we're such a good person. That's not why we're supposed to do things. And that's kind of why it bothers me sometimes. You see all over Facebook these people that video when they give a homeless person food or when they, you know, give them money. And it's like, what are you doing this for? Are you doing it for views? Are you doing it to try to make yourself look like a really good person? Or are you doing it because Jesus says, what you do for the least of them, you do for me? Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. That's all I have for you for today. You guys be safe this weekend. We will see you tomorrow in the next video. And God bless.